All right, tropical storm force winds still possible along the Florida coast, so a lot of people evacuating, which is a smart thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Carolinas as well, but are some of these coming to the Knoxville area in East Tennessee? Yeah, thousands of people are evacuating up here uh, all over the East Coast. You could say some of them are coming up here to East Tennessee. One family I spoke with, they're from Florida. They live six miles from the ocean, but they can replace all of their furniture and belongings back home. That's why they tell me that they came up here because there's a big peace of mind and a sense of safety. So far, it doesn't look like the wind is anything there on the plants. Security cameras are showing what's going on back home. Everything looks calm right now. Maybe that's the calm before the storm. John Weaver and Janet Hansel are from Port Orange, Florida. They're vacationing in Sevierville at River Plantation RV, getting here a day earlier because of Dorian. It makes you nervous. I mean, you're just kind of like a basket case. And it's like you get glued to the TV. We watched the um, Bahamas and, you know, what they were going through. And, I mean, it just makes you shiver. The couple says their home should be safe. Dorian, which is tracking northwest along the Florida coast. But if there's damage, they're ready to go. The winds are picking up, and of course, the water, the waves are kind of rough, from what I understand. A few RVs down, the Rogers family is vacationing, too. It's a good opportunity to rest and get ready for, for what we need to do. But their trip this week is a little different. We're on standby to respond to somewhere on the East Coast to uh, wherever the hurricane comes uh, ashore and start causing and causes damage to folks, property, and homes. They're with the Southern Baptist Convention Disaster Relief Team. We're going in and trying to stop any further damage to a person's home. It's not rebuild by any means, it's just temporary repairs. And we're usually the first people that goes out into the communities. The big thing is we get to let them talk to us and tell their story. Hurricane Watch just uh, went under uh, uh, play today, if you will. In the meantime, the Rogers family is watching the weather closely. In our times of devotion, you know, it's time that we start, you know, asking God for to lead us in the direct direction we need to go and give us the knowledge we need to, to help the people out. Checking with the Red Cross, we're told 11 volunteers out of East Tennessee are heading to the coast, as well as 50 plus volunteers out of the Tennessee region. They're also being deployed to help with hurricane relief. Guys. All right, Laura, thank you so much.